This is part 102 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery UI support for animating class transitions. jQuery UI adds support for animating colors and class transitions. In our previous video session, we discussed animating colors. In this video, we'll discuss animating class transitions. With the basic jQuery functionality, these methods add class, remove class, toggle class. These methods will not animate style properties that are defined in a CSS class. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. On this page right here, we've got a div element with some text inside it and then a break element and a button element. So if we view this HTML in the browser, this is how it looks like. And on this page, we also have a CSS class here red div. At the moment we are not using this class anywhere on this page. And look at the script file that is referenced at the moment. We are referencing only the core jQuery file. We are not referencing the jQuery UI file yet. We have that within our solution explorer but we are not referencing that at the moment on this page. Now what we want to do is when we click this button we want to check if the red div class is applied to this div element. If it is already applied, we want to remove it. If it's not applied, then we want to add it. So let's see how to achieve that. So back in Visual Studio, within our jQuery ready function, I'm going to create a variable. Let's call this apply class, and I'm going to initialize that to true. And let's wire up a click event handler to the button. The ID of the button is btn animate. So when we click the button, we want to execute some code which is going to be part of this anonymous function. So what do we want to do when we click the button? We want to check the value of this apply class variable. If that is true, then we want to add that CSS class to the div element. So let's actually cache the div element in a variable. So I'm going to call this variable div element equal to, let's use the jQuery ID selector again and find the div element. So if apply class, then development dot add class. The first thing to notice here are the number of parameters. Notice that at the moment, we only have got one parameter to this function, the name of the class that we want to add to the development. And the name of the class is red dev. So let's go ahead and add that class. So if apply class is true, then we want to add the class, otherwise, we want to remove the class and to remove the class I'm going to use the remove class function. Again if you look at this function it has got only one parameter the name of the class that we want to remove. So the class that we want to remove is red dev. So let's save our changes and another thing that we want to do is we want to change the value of this variable to opposite of what it has already. So within the click event handler outside of this if else block apply class equals not apply class. So if the value is true already, then this is going to change it to false. If it is false, then it is going to change it to true. So with these changes, let's view our page in the browser. Now look at this. When I click the button, the class is applied. And look at the styles. They change immediately, instantaneously. There are no animations whatsoever. When I click the button again, the class will be removed. And look at what happens to the styles. They are reverted instantaneously. Now what we want to do is, as we add and remove classes, we want to animate all these styles that are defined in this red div class. Okay. So to achieve that, we can use jQuery UI. So let's drag and drop this jQuery UI file on our page. So at the moment we are referencing jQuery UI. And as a result of that, look at this. The moment we open the bracket, look at the IntelliSense. All of a sudden we have now four parameters for this function. The name of the class that we want to add, the speed for the animation, that's the second parameter, easing function that we want to use, and the callback function that we want to execute as soon as the animation is complete. All right. So at the moment we are specifying the name of the class. Let's specify the speed for the animation. The speed parameter can be a string or a number. If you are using a string, then you will have to use one of these three predefined pre strings. Slow. So when you set the value to slow, then it is going to take 600 milliseconds for the animation to complete. You can also use normal, which is 400 milliseconds, and fast, which is 200 milliseconds or you can specify your custom 
uh, speed here using a number. Let's say we want the animation to last for 2000 milliseconds. Similarly, when we remove the class, the animation should last for 2000 milliseconds. So let's save our changes now. Reload this page and look at this. When we click the button now, look at that. All those styles that are defined within that red div class are applied over a duration of 2000 milliseconds. Similarly, when the class is being removed, the styles are reverted back again over a duration of 2000 milliseconds. Let's look at the other parameters of these classes. So easing. So this is again a string value that specifies the name of the easing function to use. For the list of all easing functions, visit this URL right here. And here you can see all the easing functions. So basically, an easing function specifies the speed at which an animation progresses at different points within the animation. And here you have the names of the easing functions. And when you click on that, you know, it's going to animate on how that animation is going to progress at different points within the animation. All right, so let's go ahead and probably use, you know, this animation. Uh, easing function. So that's our third parameter. And the last parameter is the callback function, the function that we want to call when the animation completes. Let's say when the animation completes, we want to alert a message saying animation complete. So we should get this message as soon as the animation completes. So let's save our changes, reload our web form. And look at this, when we click the button, so the animation has completed and we get the alert. So here we have used an example of add class and remove class. Now let's look at an example of using toggle class. So basically at the moment we are checking if the class is applied, if it's not applied, we are applying it. If it's already applied, we are removing it. And we have written some custom code for that. Instead of all this code, to do what exactly we have done just now, we can use toggle class function. So we can get rid of this variable. So that's no longer required. And within the click event handler, so I'm going to find the development using its ID, my dev. And let's use toggle class method. And let's specify the class name that we want to toggle. So the class name is red div. And we can specify the speed as well. So let's specify speed as 2000 milliseconds. Again, we have easing function and callback function. So let's just use the duration for now. So let's save our changes, reload this page, and it should behave exactly the same way. So the class is not applied at the moment. When we click the button, the class is applied and it's present. When we click it again, it should remove it and it happens using an animation that lasts for 2000 milliseconds. So here are the parameters uh, that are common for all the three methods that we have just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.